The Empty Pot, retold by Patty Yi, illustrated by Jin Woo Kim. A long time ago, there was a boy named Jen. He lived in China with his mother. They lived in a house full of beautiful flowers and other plants from the garden. The emperor of China was a very old man. He didn't have any children. He worried about what, who would become the next emperor. The, the emperor decided to choose the next emperor from among the children of his country. He told his people, "I will give a flower seed to every child. In a year's time, come back to the palace with your pots." Jen carefully planted his seeds in a little clay pot, and gave it water. Days passed, but the little seed didn't sprout. Jen moved the seed into a bigger, nicer pot. He placed the pot in the sunniest corner of his garden. Weeks passed, but the little seed didn't sprout. Jen carried his pot to a well with fresh water. Months passed. But the little seed didn't sprout. He kept his pet cricket next to the pot. He wanted the seed to hear the cricket's sweet sounds. Seasons passed, but the little seed still didn't sprout. A year passed. It was time to bring the pot back to the emperor's palace. Jen was sad. His seed hadn't sprouted at all. His mother found him crying in the garden. "You did your best," she said. "Bring your pot to the emperor and tell him what happened." Children came to the emperor's palace with their pots full of flowers. Chen looked down sadly at his empty pot. Some. The emperor walked slowly through the crowd of children and flowers. Something was wrong. The emperor didn't look pleased. At last, he came to Jen and his empty pot. What's this? The emperor demanded. Why is your pot empty? He asked. Jen said, "I'm sorry. I put the seed in a pot. I moved it into a bigger, fancier pot." I made it. I made sure it had sunlight. I gave it freshest water. I even let my cricket keep its company at night. No matter what I did, it wouldn't grow. I tried my best. Suddenly, to Jen's surprise, the emperor shouted, "I found the next emperor! I don't know how the rest of you grew your flowers." The seeds I gave out were boiled; they could never have grown. But this child was honest and used his best effort to try to grow the seed. Jen and his mother went to live in a palace. The emperor and Jen worked in the palace garden together. When the emperor died, Jen became emperor. He carried. He cared for China just as he had always cared for his own garden.